Hey team, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube cooking channel. If you want to see more cooking just like this, like and subscribe. Aloha everybody, welcome to Coco Head Cafe. I have been invited here as a guest of Hawaiian Airlines executive chef Leanne Wong. Today we're cooking up traditional Hawaiian poke. Yes. Tell me about poke, where did it originate from? And because it's really showing up everywhere, particularly around the east coast of Australia, we're seeing lots of small mm -hmm. poke shops coming through. You know. So poke is as ubiquitous in Hawaii as say spam is. Or oh, it spams everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. But originally poke was, I mean, it was obviously a fisherman's dish. And yeah. back in the ancient days, the Hawaiians treated the ocean like their ice box. So they only pulled from it whatever they needed. And they'll pull fish and quite simply to see how fresh it was they would just cut it right on yeah. the right on the boat and then just season it with a little Hawaiian sea salt and maybe yeah. some seaweed some limu ogo. Right. Word poke means to cut but you know it's really about the fish it's yeah. really about taking advantage of how fresh the fish is and here in Hawaii we are so lucky because uh, you know, I'm from New York where we get yeah. a lot of fresh fish on the East Coast, but not like yeah. this. No, it's um, right on your doorstep. It really the, is. The best fishing in the world I've ever <laughs> had is right here, I'll tell you. Um, we have a beautiful piece of uh, big eye tuna here today. Poke quality, you want to look for color, you want to look for clarity, you want to look for firmness. This is going to be the most simple variety of classic shoyu ahi poke. So I'm just going to cut the belly out here. And you have this beautiful block. I just cool. cut off a couple uh, steaks. Right. And really, you just want to dice that poke. I think like a three quarter to half inch cube is nice, a nice, nice size. And nice chunky. little, yeah, chunky. You want a little bit. It's toothsome. And you know, here in Hawaii, part of what makes our poke authentic is that the fish is pre-marinated. Mm. Okay. That's fresh, isn't it? So, so oh yeah, wow. totally. Mm. Pulled from the ocean this morning. By pre-marinating the poke, what happens is that marinade, usually it's shoyu, some sea salt. And shoyu for everyone back home, I, I worked out Soy this sauce. the hard way, yeah. <laughs> I imported shoyu from Hawaii, a box of it, right? And it cost me a fortune. My wife and I, we got it home. We opened it up. We thought, yeah, we're going to get into it. And we opened it up and it was soy sauce. <laughs> it's the most expensive soy sauce I've ever, we have ever bought. And we still have thousand packets. I got yeah. yelled at when I first moved here because I kept calling it soy sauce. And everyone's yeah. like, it's show you. Um, so let me make okay. our, our show you sauce okay. very simply. I'm going to yep. start with a little bit of show you. Okay. Uh, I've got a touch of sugar. Right. And then sesame oil gives it that, that just, rich. Doesn't that that works? It work, just coats so the tongue. It's beautiful. Okay, and that's it. The most simple form. A little sugar show you. You don't have to add sugar if you don't want to. I find that it adds balance. Okay. So you yeah. see that it just yeah, comes solid. together as a really quick vinaigrette, and then we can add our ingredients. So I have my cut tuna, my ahi, and then I have some fresh sliced sweet onion. So that's oh, a white onion? It, this is actually a sweet Maui onion. Right, okay. um, you can use, if you're going to use like a red onion or okay. a white onion or a yellow onion, I suggest rinsing it first. Okay. Rinsing it and drying them before you add it to the poke. And what's that going to do? It's going to take away a little bit of that sulfuric acid that's going to, okay. that burning sensation when you eat a raw onion. Okay. So I always find like if you rinse your onions for like a salad or whatever, it's yep. a lot crisper and a lot easier to eat. Sweet. Okay. Even though they'll show you in there, I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt, Hawaiian red ole sea salt. I have this beautiful puspie, sea asparagus. You guys know what this is, right? No. Oh, so this is uh, sea asparagus, otherwise oh, it is puspie. It's salty, it's briny. I'm gonna take a little bit of this ogo. Okay. And I'm gonna chop up the ogo. Now I've seen that around the rocks under the water. Yes. So you always wanna make sure whenever you get your ogo, you can harvest it yourself. You just gotta rinse it real well, soak it overnight. And then I have some kukui nut, and this is oh, candle nut. That's a nut. Yes. I thought it was a nut. So this yeah. is a tree nut. Traditionally, the Hawaiians would roast the nuts whole in the fire, and they'd crack oh, in wow. the coals of the emu or the fire, okay. the charcoal. And uh, roasted, it's called inamona. 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 And inamona. it adds that nuttiness. Too much of it, it's got a lot of the oils that kind of get everything moving, so you can't eat too much of this. Okay. Um, but candle nut is used for beauty and health applications as well as wow. uh, for eating. And okay. so, we're gonna add a little bit of sesame seed, then uh, just a little bit of green onion. And all of this is sourced locally. Yeah, all yeah. of this is sourced locally. And you know, as you can see, this yep. is a dish that you can make inside of five minutes. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, it's and it's beautiful. It's beautiful, it's fresh, it's healthy. Nice. Mm. 
really simple. And so, you know, here we like to serve it over a nice bowl of rice. This is a giant portion of poke. That is. That here you is go. Stunning. Isn't Absolutely. that beautiful? Ten out of ten. This is for you. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I'll, I'll have it. I'll have it. That one there looks good, and I'll have a little bit of go with it. <laughs> here we go. How's it taste? Mm. Fresh. Mm -hmm. you get all that umami. Show you, absolutely. The show you the uh, oil, of course, the sesame oil, and that sugar straight away coated it. Yeah. You know, straight in your mouth. Just cleans the palate as well. And of course, that beautiful bounce of flavour with it, with the ogu, the onion, it really makes a big difference. So I'll tell you what, give it a crack, get it home, and just try it. Do it yourself. And if you're coming to Hawaii here, particularly on Oahu, come down to Cocoa Head Cafe, give a big high five, Aussie high five, to, <laughs> of course, the Hawaiian Airlines executive chef, Leanne Wong. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being here, Paul. You're Cheers. Welcome. Aloha. Hey team, thanks for watching our Step Outside YouTube cooking channel. All you have to do is like, comment and subscribe to keep up to date with what we're doing to showcase to you guys. This is our popcorn prawn, so popcorn shrimp with a bang bang sauce. There's a lot more of this coming your way. Like, subscribe and we'll see you soon when we're stepping outside.